In this lesson, we'll look at how to select objects in your Visio diagram. And this may be something that you're thinking at first blush, really, is that all there is to it? I get how to select things. I just give it a click, and then the thing is selected. Well, like most other aspects of this application or other Office applications, there's usually more than meets the eye. So yes, that's certainly how you can select something just by giving the object a click, but you're going to be selecting things multiple times, hundreds if not thousands of times throughout your use of Visio. So I want to give you a couple of pointers when you're selecting. You may have used other programs and done a area select, which is that, which is clicking and dragging kind of a big rectangular area on whatever you're working with. So in the case of Visio, you're clicking and dragging a rectangle in the drawing pane. But you have to be pretty precise. If I just drag like that, nothing is selected. Even though I might think that I'm selecting all three items, I am in fact not. I have to make sure that I get all of the objects within my rectangle in order to have them selected. And once they're selected, you see that bounding box around your selection. You also see this blue highlighting that appears which gives you an indicator that whatever is blue highlight is selected. So if I want to do something as simple as just taking this these three items and moving them like so then I have to make sure that I am able to select all three or if I want to duplicate them and move this new set of items down here then again, I want to make sure that I can select them first. Or if I want to take these three items and twirl them around so that they're kind of the opposite of their counterparts, again, I just have to make sure and make the selection. Now, what if you want to make selections that don't really neatly fit within a area box? What if you want to select that and that, for example? Well, here's what you can do. You can make a click and then hold down the control key and click that. Now you have two items selected and if I click and drag notice what happens when I do that selection and then make the movement. I'm going to undo that. So even though the bounding box looks like it has selected multiple items here, it has included this and this object, in fact the only things selected are this and this. And again the blue highlighting is very significant. So if I select this and this by holding down the control key, I get a big banding box, but I click and drag and I only move the triangles. Now, another thing you can do, another technique you can use to kind of produce the same effect there is that you can use the Home tab editing tools. And by clicking on this select button here, you can also lasso select. So rather than area select, if I do a lasso select, it lets me do things more precisely. So maybe I want to select that thing. Oops, let me make sure I change to the lasso tool. So let's say I want to select that and then those two items, as long as they're within the lasso, then they all should be selected. So once again, my bounding box here, or my banding box is large, but these selected items are only what I included in my lasso click and drag and now I'm only moving those three things. So again, more than meets the eye when it comes to the art of simply selecting objects in your diagram.